What's going on, guys? Welcome to February's episode of Game of the Month, show where we pick a game at random every month, and we play it throughout the month, and then we talk about it. My name's Seth. I'm Chevy. I'm Josh. And uh, Chris is not here. We'll get his opinions on Monster Hunter World next time he is on the channel, which he might actually be in studio when he's on next, so that'd be kind of cool. Uh, quick reminders to uh, download and play. We're in a new month now. Damn. Yeah, graceful. <laughs> You're from <laughs> all over the place. Uh, Have some. <laughs> download and play Sonic Forces and Shadow of the Colossus both offered for free on PlayStation Plus throughout March make sure to download those play those come back at the end of the month Plus Club let us know what we thought of those games we'll let you know what we thought of them also another real quick reminder we just discussed Sims 4 and Bioshock Collection Bioshock Collection make sure to check that out yesterday we had a good uh, conversation and uh, our game of the month was Monster Hunter World but I forgot I get to pick next month's game of the month so, you guys ready to find out the big surprise? Mm -hmm. Game of the month will be Wilson. Ooh. Big surprise. Uh, everybody's playing it right now. I've been playing a shitload of it. Uh, might as well hit fucking 100 birds with one stone and uh, just play it. And, uh, yeah, perfect time to be playing it. So, make sure to download and play that as well. Um, if you haven't uh, played it or heard of it, it is a uh, Diablo-like ARPG. Uh, loot, leveling, end game shit, which is what I'm doing in the game right now. Um, so yeah, that'll be our game of the month. What do you guys think about Wilson? Uh, when it comes to being game of the month next this month, it's convenient. Yeah, that's why. That's why I'm <laughs> picking it. Mm -hmm. I I did humor doing Division Two because the expansion, but um, I'm just so into Wilson right now that I might as well just fucking make a game of the month. That was actually my um, I was like, well, if it's not Wilson, it's Division Two because yeah. the Warlords of New York's coming out yeah tomorrow. So fuck, is it tomorrow? The third or the third. Today's the first, so. Yeah, I would say on a Monday, that'd be fucking crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have a Discord link down below. You can talk to us anytime, all time. We're on iTunes, Spotify, and other podcast platforms if you prefer to listen to us. And uh, if you want to support what we do on this channel, check out our Patreon. Link down below. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is a kind of an interesting episode. We're going to be discussing Monster in a World and Iceborne, uh, which was our randomly picked game of the month. Uh, the thing that's interesting about it is we just talked about Monster in a World and Iceborne back in September. So it wasn't that long ago. Because I was like, didn't we just do this? Um, and I think that was picked. That would Was that Chris's pick? I don't know. Yeah. Well, anyway, we September is the ninth month. Yeah. Every so it would have been guys pick, so would have been Chris's, Chris's pick. pick I Wouldn't think. it have been my pick? Maybe. Yeah. I don't remember picking that. Anyway, well, I mean, we played it and we yeah. talked about it in September. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I, Chris's? yeah, I don't know. Um, but uh, but the I mean, everything we said in that episode, I watched it. I'm like, that's pretty much what I'm going to be saying in this episode. So. Uh, so I'm not just kind of repeating myself a lot. This episode might be a little bit, sh bit shorter too, but more so what I'm going to be doing, uh, in this episode for myself is seeing if any of my opinions have changed, uh, gotten better, or worse, uh, since then. Um, and yeah. So, uh, in February we played Monster Hunter World Iceborne, uh, which is the expansion. If you can get a chance to play that, or if you haven't played it, uh, it is a one to four player cooperative monster hunting game. Hence the name, uh, where you, uh, go in a lobby, you pick a mission, which is uh, a hunt, and then you get with your friends, you go find that monster, you fight it with a, a, a fucking bunch of different weapon types, and uh, you get its tasty meats and bones and all the other shit, and then you build armor and weapons to further get better, get good, to fight the gooder, get good monsters. Um, we all played it, so uh, let's just jump in. What were your impressions? Of Monster in the World, Chevy. <clears throat> so this month, um, I'll, I I didn't play as much as I had originally planned to, but I went ahead and I, I, I did sit down to get some more progress done. Um, I still have yet to beat the campaign on this. I just, unfortunately, uh, can't seem to just sit down and go through it, which is not a detriment to the game. I just have too it's, much going on. It's weird. Everyone I know, like, personally, people mm -hmm. I'm close to, none of them have beaten it. Have you? You mean Iceborne? Yeah. The main camp. Well, it, it, it's different. Yeah. You know how the how there was Zora Magdaris, and yeah. then there was High Rank, and mm -hmm. then there's um, Zenajiva. Mm -hmm. yeah. Iceborne does the same thing. So there's Velcana, and then there's more. Yeah, yeah. And I did beat Velcana. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, one person has them. Um. 
Yeah, other than that, I mean, I I did, I think it's three missions. So I did the, uh, I'm going to mess up all their names. Can't remember his name right now. Anyways, he's got the, the bulbous forehead, uh, does a lot of like. Uh, Brachios. Yeah. Brachidios. Brachidios. Yeah. Yeah. Makes all the little spots that, you know, goop on you and you eventually mm -hmm. explode. Yeah, I fought him. That um, motherfucker. <clears throat> I did Tigrex, I believe his name is, which is definitely a very old design. Um, I mean, it looks great in the new engine, but I was looking, I was like, this is an older thought process. <laughs> mm -hmm. A T-Rex fucking <laughs> on a pterodactyl. Like, yes. yeah, and that guy was annoying. Uh, but, I mean, that was like the, the second or third time this DLC where something was kind of like that, where it's just like partially winged or whatever and just jumped all over the place. And then, uh, and then you do the uh, the first time you encounter Velcana, right? Is the mm -hmm. person's name, and then a uh, person, Mo <clears throat> monster's name, and then uh, that That'd be a person. The fight's interesting because um, I don't remember them really. Oh no, they did that in the original one too. You fight Zora Magadros a couple times, mm -hmm. so yeah, you know, same idea. Um, I mean, but overall, I, I came back to it, still felt familiar, and this time I had less trouble like getting back into my character which was really nice like i like had the control scheme in my head is immediately playing um it was more so like trying to figure out what my inventory was at, for the first couple fights um you know still had fun with it the monsters are still very interesting they're very good at designing um you know the fights mm -hmm. i i could easily if i you know had the time to just sit there and play it uh you know lose time into that game still so uh, but overall, you know, like we always say, at least, you know, on the channel, I, I thoroughly enjoy this game. So it was very uh, easy for me to play um, and it'll always be easy for me to come back to. So, yeah, I had a similar experience when I hopped back in. It was less uh, daunting this time, I guess, because the last time I took a long break, I came back and uh, I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I forgot how to use this and that. And I started like reorienting myself with stuff. Uh, this time it, it clicked again, which is nice pretty quickly. Um, and yeah, I, uh, I, I played a little bit by myself. Uh, then me and you played mm -hmm. together and that was way more fun as it typically is with this kind of game. Um, I remember it, it used to feel kind of off too with more people when you played with them. Like the, it either was best to play with like by yourself or what with two or four. Two or four, but mm -hmm. then three sucked. Three and off, yeah. It does feel like they've kind of re-done uh, that a bit because uh, the fights felt uh, fun and fair uh, with two people, which there wasn't an mm -hmm. issue before, but um, it still feels good. Um, but yeah, I pretty much did a lot of my like side uh, quests, um, just knocking a lot of those out. Um, did a couple main uh, monsters. Huh? Uh, no, I was just I, I was laughing at us just straight wrecking Kuliak yeah. in that hallway. He's fighting for his fucking life, man. We're sitting, <laughs> fighting for my motherfucking life. Um, yeah, we're sitting there talking shit to him the whole time too, while beating the fuck out of him. And he's just <laughs> running off like it was almost like a mugging. It was scary. Like we ran into him and we're like beating the fuck out of him in the alleyway. And then he's like, "Whoa!" And he's just running off. And we're like, "Come here." Um, but yeah, it was fun. Uh, Monster Hunter is always fun. Uh, I mean, I've been joking throughout the the month uh, building up to this, but like everyone on this channel loves Monster Hunter, so it's uh it's 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 hard for me to sit here and like try and talk it up because i'm talking to people who already fucking love the game as well yeah and played the shit out of it yeah um but yeah my what, what i was pretty much doing this time around though also was uh trying to gear up as you do in this game but that's that's the big hurdle i'm having right now is i'm like ah fuck everything's a lot harder and i gotta i gotta get gear for this and so far i've been getting some pretty decent stuff but um yeah i still feel under under geared right now so i need to work on that further um but yeah, I mean, everything's still awesome in the game. Uh, you know, great graphics. I, I, I forgot the name of it, but the fucking town is a much better uh, design than the original. Celiana. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, the, like, the hub uh, where you can all hang out um, is, a, is a much better design. I like that everything is there. Uh, you don't have to leave it. Um, very, I, it, it's just cool that in the short time the game's been out, they've... Uh, improved on design uh the fights are awesome uh obviously uh and uh yeah i mean i i overall just enjoyed my time with it um and 
I want to play more, but the, the big thing I've been struggling with is uh, I played the original game pretty much by myself. Every once in a while I played some people, but like I played the whole thing and did most of the stuff all by myself just because it was a lot easier to just hop in and start playing and go. But uh, after playing with you, I was like, eh, I, I only really want to play this with people at this point. Uh, it was a lot. It was like the fun factor was just there. It was, it was a lot better, obviously, with, with more people. Mm -hmm. But that can also get frustrating as well. If I play with random people, there might be somebody who's like, and not to talk shit, but someone might not be like that good or they're not paying attention or they're fucking AFK or something weird um, happens. Or uh, even playing with groups of people, of people I know, you know, some people uh might be playing a different way than than i like to play maybe they're uh you know in it for more social reasons so they're not really paying attention to the fight or something like that mm. so um I'm, I'm kind of particular with with who i'm playing this with uh but yeah when we played it was fun so mm. i'd like to do that again and uh yeah february is fun revisiting this game yeah um i had a hard time jumping back into monster hunter and that was only because Throughout the main quest, I, you know, I dabbled in a bunch of weapons, but I pretty much started it with the lance and then ended it with the hammer. Mm -hmm. And then at the very end, I was just messing around with everything else. So, you know, I was doing a little bit of dual blades and doing a little bit of, uh, um, like, bow and stuff like that. And then I got into master rank, and I was like, I'm getting fucked up no matter what I'm using. Yeah. So I went back to lance, and then... Uh, so I was having a really hard time. That was my 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 conundrum. Is like, have you ever guys gotten bored with your weapons or anything like that? I, to... I have multiple for the for the sake of switching it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because like, I still love the insect glaive. I got well, like, and then that's the thing because I started with the switch axe, mm -hmm. and then I saw you. I was like, use the lance to fight the Barath or mm -hmm. whatever it is, and uh, and I was like, holy shit, the lance is dope. And then yeah, it's I, pretty neat. And then I use that. And then uh, I need to push myself and use another weapon more often because every once in a while I'll dabble, but mm -hmm. I, I primarily use the insect glaives because yeah. I like the move set so much. Yeah, and I think you would like dual blades just because they're quick, agile. Oh, I've used them. Yeah. Um, so I think it's interesting too because you know ever since they switched all the weapons up, um, I'm not familiar with any of them anymore. So it would be really just 100% relearning everything. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the longsword was is like my my bread and butter for the most part, and uh, uh, even that, when they changed it, though it didn't take long because I was more comfortable with it to begin with, um, it it feels completely different than it did in be pre Iceborne. So um, mm. I think it feels a million times better. Mm. And then Hunting Horn having an additional note and stuff like that. Um, I liked playing Hammer before, but now um, I was using it a little bit. I was like, I need to like spend some time to relearn this. Apparently, mm -hmm. so because uh, I was doing awful when I came back to Iceborne with the Hammer. So. Well, and, and, I, and I think that was a piece of, like, Master Rank. I was like, these hunts are taking fucking forever. And I was like, I can't. Well, they beefy. I just mm -hmm. didn't want to. I couldn't <laughs> kill shit boys. like I wanted to kill shit. Yeah. And um, and it annoyed me. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go with the Charge Axe again. They added a new move. Well, they didn't add a new move. But, you know, the crazy swipes you can do with it? Because mm -hmm. you can just infinite combo them. Well, if you do at least three and then you attack out, out of it, you actually buff your axe mode. Oh, nice. And it gives you like 10% more attack and a better chance to interrupt monsters. Hmm. So, like, I started using that, and I was like, well, I found the weapon I'm fucking using again forever. And then then on, I enjoyed Iceborne. I was like, all right, let's start hunting shit and stuff like that. So, yeah, that was my biggest problem. Was, and it kind of piggybacks off yours, Seth, about the gear thing. Mm -hmm. Like, trying to gear back up for Master Rank, it's, it's almost... You almost like almost want to get like the Jagras, the new Jagras armor and shit like that. Yeah, like the first mining set. Yeah, like or bone. Or yeah, as soon as you started like pump the brakes, fucking hold on, you gotta you gotta gear up and shit. Yeah, so. don't just jump and fighting uh, Bombaro and shit like that. But my time with it was enjoy enjoyable. I played it more this this month than I have in months. Mm -hmm. So uh, like I said, I beat Vel Velcana. Um, there was a little bit of a skill hurdle there that I just wasn't passing. So I did call on people. Um, though I did do some research in G rank um, or master rank. Um, in the older games were based off of four people, like four people being in your party. Mm. So it makes sense that I had to get people in my group to fucking help me take down monsters. Mm -hmm. 
Because I mean, I don't know if that philosophy carried over, but yeah, I don't, I don't know that either. But that that would be interesting if, yeah. uh, to see behind the scenes on mm-hmm. uh, if it's meant for that or not. Uh, I I fought Velcana in the uh, the beta or the demo or the fuck that was, and uh, Velcana's a fucking bitch anyway. Mm-hmm. Like fight, like uh, it was so I just frustrating. Think it's annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's annoying as fuck, but it was, it was super frustrating when I was trying to beat that because uh, I'd beat all the other uh, monsters in that in that demo and or beta, and then um, before I was like running out of time or the fuck, I I uh, I was trying to fucking beat. I was like, I, I got to get that fucking win. I, I want to beat that thing, but like every group I got into, like you'd assume at some point you just get in that group of people who are just awesome, mm-hmm. and then it, it'll get taken care of regardless. I'm I'm decent at the game, but like. Every every time, man, fucking, we'd almost have it killed, and fucking, we'd run out of time. So mm-hmm. frustrating. Oh yeah, because in the beta they jumped the time down to like ten or twenty minutes or something. Fifteen, like that. I think it was. It was yeah, really it short. Was, it was fucking stupid. Hard. Almost like yeah. bounty times. Yeah. yeah, it was a bitch. But yeah, yeah, because Volcana's like, I didn't expect Volcana to be so small, mm-hmm. but like, it's like it's more of like a cat. It just does quick shit all the damn time, and he uses its tail a lot. But anyway. Um, I think all the monster designs are cool. The returning monsters, Glavinus, um, which is a really cool idea. Just having a big ass great sword as a tail. That's the armor I'm wearing right now. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I like that design. Uh, Bracadios, I think is neat. His opening cutscene was scary when he just wrecks that fucking Uragon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, I was like, I was like, Ugh, it's Jay fucking Leno, and then <laughs> Bracadillos comes up and just r- destroys him, and I was like, fucking Jay oh, Leno oh. with an upside down face. Yeah, and then uh, even fighting the old master rank monsters. Anyway, or the master rank monsters from the base game was like yeah. they're different experiences. Rathalos was up my ass constantly. Like, well, we said it last time we did this episode too. Like. Puke Puke even? I was like, whoa, what the hell happened to you? Mm-hmm. Like, hey, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and, that guy's um, a dickhead. Azure Rathalos mm. never goes to the ground. I hate They're just shit. fighting in the fucking air the whole the whole time. I mean, that's why you have a Clutch Claw. But... Oh, yeah, Clutch Claw. and um... I was using that way more this time around, too. Because when, when it first useful. came out, I used it a little bit to like, check it out. But I'm like, it's okay, like whatever. But this time, like I don't know, just kind of clicked finally on like, oh yeah, this is actually super useful. Like half the time when fucking we we're mugging fucking what's his face, <laughs> and he's like running off, like clutching his pearls and shit. We're fucking just <laughs> flying onto him, hitting him and shit. Bring that ass back, your boy. It's like one of the best ways to get like takedowns too, because you just make sure you have some ranged ammo, punch him in the face till the face yeah, hit like a wall, that. and mm, yeah, and then yeah, that's uh, and then with the switch ass, that makes it. Switch axe. Switch ass. Blah. That makes it really easy. Because you ass. open them up mm. very quickly. Because before it would be chip, 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 chip. And then they'd trip. And yeah. then you'd have a chance to do. Or you'd run around and find like an elevation that you can jump off of and try and mount. But, right. Um, this gave you a lot of openings. Plus a switch axe's um, normal attack uh, with a clutch claw weakens that part. So it made it. So then you just start aiming for that part, and it starts wrecking them. Right. Like, I knocked the freezing Legiana. Did you guys fight him? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Glacial Legiana, I don't remember the name. Anyway, it's always accompanied by a, another Legiana, a standard one. So you're fighting two of them. In That's this annoying. Fucking, yeah. It's one of the most annoying fights in the whole game. But uh, I wanted to make the switch axe that it had, because it was actually good. And... Uh, yeah, it was annoying. Bad annoying. Anyway, um, but that's what I used to open them up a lot was the Clutch Claw. Because it would just give me free chance to get hits. Right. You know, and then I'd dumb paw, shoot some shit into Lee on his face, and then it would go away for a little bit, and it'd come back. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, it was like Basil Juice. Basil Goose? Basil Geese? Fucking Raffles will be like that sometimes, too. It just won't fucking go away. Yeah. <clears throat> and then seething... Basil juice was rough. Basil guy, dog. I don't know. A basil, seething basil. B fifty two. Anyway, fuck that guy. Anyway, like the game is good. Um, I enjoyed it now as much as I enjoyed it back then. As much as I enjoyed it when it came out. Um, my love for this game doesn't really wane. There was no bounds. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm never like coming back to this game going like, oh, this game used to be good, or mm-hmm. I remember when you used to like. Yeah, this game's always fucking sick. Yeah. Love it. Anything else? So, 
Uh, no. Did you have a question or some shit you're gonna ask? I, I did. I, I, I asked. Okay. I asked. Did, did you guys have the same hurdle as I did jumping? And you talked about the gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind of the same thing. So. And you also asked like, um, getting bored with weapons, shit like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because before you were saying you had a question, and I was like, mm-hmm. save for the show. So okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah. So uh, l- let me ask a question since we're kind of fucking flying through this, flying through this episode because <laughs> we pretty much already done it. Uh, lessons learned. I was like, how many times have we talked about the same game in multiple episodes? And I don't think we've done it before, or at least not very often. But um, from what we've played so far and our satisfaction of this game, uh, do you guys want a Monster Hunter World 2 or do you want another expansion? Expansion. Expansion. Yeah, I'm on the same page. Okay, well, I guess that didn't really create game, a dialogue. The game, well, the game really, unless they move it to like the RE engine or something like that, like to make it very pretty. I say the game still looks good. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah, it, it looks still great. does look great. Have you guys? Plus, it comes from a game series that like never looked good graphically. So, like <laughs> that, this one just does look good. Mm-hmm. They kind of just like there's no middleman there. Yeah, the only reason I even want to see them um, make like you know a second game like ever is if they have like this idea that involves an engine change, engine change, or um, some kind of new idea that they'd have to remake. Or may start from the beginning again for sure to build off of. Other than that, they've shown with Iceborne that they're willing to redo combat, up the difficulty, give you new zones, including social hubs. Your room, for example, like being mm-hmm. able to invite people in to like check out your decorations and stuff. That it's awesome. Mm-hmm. So and they can just if they can keep just adding on to it, go for it. I will buy every expansion, like mm-hmm. no problem. Um, I'd like I to like s- that that mentality. So. Yeah. I'd like to see them open up the just all the areas like lobby wise to everybody and not have load times. Yeah. Um, I know it's kind of traditional to have like the two separate areas or whatever, but this game got rid of zones in when you're hunting. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, just so they could easily the do that. Yeah. And yeah. just have like a seamless area that if you invite people in, they can just run around that area too. Yeah. Um, cause the first, uh, um, games are weird about cutscenes though too, though. So, yeah, yeah, it is. Um, but the first, the first town, the the fucking multiplayer area, no one goes there because it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, like it's 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 you know lessons learned. They fix that uh, with the expansion, but um, if they just made it all seamless and and make it so you can just run around the whole thing, I think it'd be an improvement. It yeah. was absolute genius to add like the blacksmith and like buying items and all sorts i think I mean, there's had, literally they, one missing vendor in that place yeah so, so i think they had the I, I think it's your kitty or the room guy to do your tail safaris your kitty dog possibly the tail I can't safaris remember. or the research center i'm sure someone will have an answer for that yeah oh they will yeah but yeah <laughs> that the the upgrade to the gathering hub was crazy good yeah big plus time. all the little dumb little social stuff like Seth's like what are you doing with your fucking cat because i'm like tickling him and the with, with doing a foot bath I'm just like hanging out. Well, I was, I was asking that on a personal level. What are you doing with that cat? Because I've seen the animations. Fucking, I was just like, what the fuck are you doing um, over there? It's something it's that, creepy. that me and you recently talked about, though, when we, after playing PSO2. It was mm-hmm. like, games are missing that kind of yeah. stuff. Even like Final Fantasy fourteen is starting to add stuff like that because you want to keep, especially the people invested in your game in there, they want to hang out. Yeah, the looking forward to playing the game shouldn't just be let's get in a mission, let's go 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 because I'm bored. Oh, it was there. There should be looter shooters. That's yeah, what we were talking yeah. about. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, Division, uh, Destiny, all those games would. I thought it was neat in Destiny too that there's like a fucking a thing you can activate, and uh, what is it? The ball. Yeah. The ball or the lava. The lava thing. Lava. Those things are neat. There should be more stuff like that, but mm-hmm. also put more time into it to make them visually appealing and not just like these quick little things that someone's like, wouldn't it be neat if. We did that. How do we um, keep them busy? Yeah, but there should be more stuff like that, and, and less like over in the corner. Like, mm. hey, you go do that over there. Um, it should be a, a main thing. It's it's something that I think a lot of games are missing, and that's one of the reasons why I like Fantasy Star so much, and and Monster Hunters. It has those things. I like to see Monster Hunter do more uh, of that kind of stuff. But the new the new um, hub um, and house improved mm. that. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, plus being able to just decorate. Everything in your house is crazy. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I was in there a while. (laughs) Yeah, I I was too. And then, like, every time I go to my cat to talk to him about, like, Tail Rider Safari shit, he's like, 
hey, if you bring this back from the Wilds Bar Away, so you can get a painting of the Wilds Bar Away. So I was like, oh, sweet. Yeah. I was like, hey, if you bring this back and get a painting of Vel- Velcon, I was it's, like, hmm. Yeah, and it's just more stuff to do yeah. you know, at that point. So, yeah. yeah. No, yes. it's it's great. Uh, and they've always been kind of, like, really good about that anyways. Like, even the early games, like, very quickly adopting, like, arm wrestling and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know, they're just kind of ahead of the curve on that, I think. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if they just added, like, small little, like, even like Rockstar tier games to like the division, like ping pong table or fucking like, uh, mm-hmm. that was a throwback to Chris, but, um, or a, uh, you know, like maybe there's a putt putt golf course. Fuck. I don't know. In the white house who gives a shit, but there's like, I don't know. It'd be fun to do stuff like that. Yeah. Even if you had to unlock it, you know, go do a mission for some reason to unlock a fucking golf course, whatever. But it would be nice go liberate to- it, dude. It's full of fucking bad guys. And then after you kill them all, they're like, hey, we can use this. Yeah. <laughs> we'll raise raise morale. And then, yeah. yeah, and then all of a sudden you got golf playing. You know, there needs to be a reason to be in your game more than just killing people. Yeah, although that is definitely the bread and butter and the reason mm-hmm. you play. But, yeah, it's just so – I, I, yeah, I, just, I enjoy social features in games. So, yeah. yeah. So we all want an expansion because uh, I don't think there's really anything that the the engine currently is limiting on what they could do with that. New locations could easily be done, new yeah, lobby, new it. new um, hub areas, all that kind of shit. Yeah, they 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 added complete new features in this expansion, so it's hard for me to even think like, do we need a sequel? Because they're already doing it. There will be limitations eventually when it comes down to it. And I think one of the biggest limitations, like I said already, is maybe that engine is better. Uh, having to load into things mm-hmm. and then with a new engine maybe they can make it um with less loading into areas um yeah it still baffles my and i kind of brought it up earlier but it still baffles my uh mind that when you go to start a mission if it's your first time doing you haven't seen the cutscene yet your friends can't join yet mm-hmm. I, I just don't get it make them watch the cutscene with you mm-hmm. yeah so what Wilson doesn't just input your character into the cutscene. Yeah, I mean, people have already done this in many, many games already. And when I see games that can't handle cuts, I've played games. I'm like, oh, it'd be cool if there's like co-op in this. And people are like, well, the cuts, they'd have to make the cutscenes different. I'm like, no, they don't. At the very bare minimum, they could just make the person who's playing with you watch your cutscene. Yep. Just the same time. No one's going to complain. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not. I mean, it's nice if if they make a game and your character's now in the cutscene too. That's just extra work they put into it. Or if each person playing is seeing their character in the cutscene, that's even better. But at the at the very minimum, you can just make the person watch what you're watching For while sure. you're doing it. And then have a vote to skip. Mm-hmm. Speaking of cutscenes, uh, Iceborne does cutscenes way, way cooler than... Yeah, they got a little more ambitious in that one. Yeah, than Monster Hunter. That comes with, I think, just being comfortable with the development more, too, mm-hmm. though, because uh, most long-term games, as you see them, they just get more ambitious in general with that kind of stuff. So, um, And it's very appreciated, 100%. Yeah. So. All right, I, I, I got a... Uh, okay, two questions. Okay. Same, same spectrum. Worst monster to fight, in your uh, opinion, and best monster to fight. I don't, think I, don't, I, can fairly I don't have a best monster fight because I, I like fighting them all. Um, the varied monsters is, is what keeps it interesting to me. But um, I still think one of the worst fucking fights uh, for me because I play Insect Glaive so much is, uh, oh, no, that fucking Wind Dragon. Kushladora. Yeah, Kushladora. Fucking hate that one just because most people, I mean, I got a lot of mobility when I'm fighting uh, uh, monsters, and that one's just in the air shooting tornadoes at my ass, and it's and it's annoying. Yeah, I can see that. I'll say it wasn't too bad for me, but uh, yeah, most people it wasn't. But I'm not stuck in the air. Almost all the monsters weren't too bad for me with the insect sure, glaive. Sure. So, and some people are like, "Man, I hate this one because I have to get up in his face and he's fucking crazy." And I'm like, "I don't." Yeah, I can shoot him from fucking far away and yeah, helicopter and over him, and yeah, yeah. Um, whereas, yeah, Kuzladora is is frustrating uh to fight just because of its move sets but um but yeah as for best though um i can't really think of one i think is the best because I, I i really like almost every fight mm-hmm. in that game so outside of kushal adora um the fucking oh god the fuck i can't remember any the names right now i'm i'm all fucked up uh the the toxic dude the 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 fucking dragon Valazak. Valazak, yeah. yeah um a lot of people didn't like him i liked that fight i liked that there was a there was a challenge to it um 
Um, I like that fight too. The only thing that always threw me off is he takes really long strides, so he moves faster than he looks like he's moving. Yeah, it's weird. So I'd go to swing and miss. I'm like, how'd you get over there already? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fighting the Omega version or Gamma version. I didn't do any of those. Uh, Vol, Vol, Vol Zok was fucking incredibly difficult. And because um, his breath attack would kill you. His beam attack would just instant, would just murder. Um, and then, of course, he did the uh, Effluvia bullshit, you know, which yep. lowered your health. Mm. Or which lowered your, yeah, your health. And then even when you eat a Nullberry to get your health bar back, it didn't. Put your health back, so you'd have to heal. Did the on armor top not work with him? Because I had a farming set for him. No, the um, armor, the effluvia resistance didn't work for. Oh, okay, so Gamma, yeah. Hal, Vol I gotcha. Um, and Black Veil Hal, Vol was is rough too. Fucking, uh, are those your most hated? No, my most hated is Lunastra. Lunastra. I never fought her. Um, the blue Teostra. Mm. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. She constantly puts dots on the ground, and her supernova's fucking garbage. And like every time you flash her, she she just super super supernovas. So it's like you gotta just not use that shit. Um, They're less effective than Iceborne now, anyway. So yeah, and um, so her and Rathian. I couldn't get a fucking bead on Rathian. Really, and that's she, a weird one for me. And she yeah. wrecked me into the fucking ground hmm. more times than I can more times than I care to admit. Must be your weapon type and yeah. play style. Because mm -hmm. I was gonna say that one's pretty easy, easy, yeah. easy mode. Well, that's the thing is with the hammer. It was with the hammer. Yeah. I switched back to the lance to fight her. Yeah, and I was like, all right, this isn't too bad. Some I of those can... fights I wonder about because of that. Because I, I, like I said before, inside glaive, I, I have that ability to get around easily. So some of the weapons, I'm like, how do you fight some of this shit? Mm -hmm. When she's uh, in the air the whole fucking time. Yeah, and she, well, my big thing with with her is like she gives pretty like uh, generous tells about what she's about to do. So I just look and then dodge sideways as soon as she was going to do something. So mm -hmm. her her bulldozer move is what pisses is what. Oh, it's got annoying me a lot for sure because she would just be standing there and then she's like. And then she just start charging, charging, and I'm like, "Oh fuck!" And then and she'll then, turn and do it again. Yep. And then yep. she turns, and, and I've been knocked like three times by the thing in the fucking row. I was pissed instantly. <laughs> but yeah, and then she poisons you every chance she gets, and, and like uh, I, I got really frustrated with fucking Rathian. Gotta make poison resistance armor, man. Fucking homie with the logs, dude. When he's raging, he'll just sit there and fucking just borrows. Yeah, Bambaros! <laughs> There's a guy on YouTube who does animations. You guys have seen his stuff before, but he just recently did like this weird little. It's a, it's a whole thing, but there's a section where it's like a little music video from Bombaro. It's it's cute. So, <laughs> I'll have to check it. But, that uh, guy that did the Nergagante one from a long time ago. Yeah. Um, I always get. I think I'm subscribed to them. Yeah, it's like NCH or something yep. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. NHS or something like that. Um. Yeah, like Seth, National I, Health, I Health Service. I don't have like a favorite fight. Um. I do just kind of enjoy playing in general, though. There are some monsters I enjoy just kind of watching, like, uh, uh, I don't know what's his name. Blue dude walks around the Elder Recess uh, and just buries himself in the ground every once in a while. Uh, bon or, um, fuck, he's the cute one. Yeah. <laughs> Got the huge jaw, bottom yeah, jaw. Yeah, he eats rocks and shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. He's you dress your poogie as him. Like, anyways. He's, he's, I just like, like watching him wander around. I'm like, what are you, like, you just don't care about anything at all. And everyone's always like, tries to get mad. I'm like, that's adorable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, most annoying fact for me was Behemoth. I, that was kind of the, like the last thing I did before, uh, Iceborne came out. Um, so that's like when mm -hmm. Lunastra came out, I wasn't playing anymore at the time. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get to do that fight. Um, obviously I can go back and do it, but I never ended up beating Behemoth. I did it right when it came out and, uh, watching people, Try to play Monster Hunter with MMO mechanics was really hilarious and frustrating at the same time. So, well, yeah, it was really ter ter terrible to fight him with Lance because he one he moved fast, but two he do a lot of weird shit, and I'm like I should have been able to guard that. I just couldn't. When he said fight him with Lance, I, th I was thinking like a person's name. I'm like, <laughs> who's that? It's, it's his bait, and that's the same reason I couldn't beat Vol, uh, Gamma Vol, Volazok either because the Lance doesn't guard against his beam attack. He would still kill you even with maximum guard. He would just, he'd, he'd blow through it. Hmm. 
His his I mean, and the gem armor is was decent. I mean, it's probably not nothing now compared to Master Rank, but uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I can't remember that fucking monster's name. The cute one. Anyway, Totogama. Totogama. There we yep. go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh boy. Old man brain finally works. Yeah. <laughs> My like brain's been fucked up all day. The new the new Master Rank monsters are always kind of fun to fight because it's like they're always in your shit like the new Anjanath did you fight Fulgur mm -hmm. Anjanath he was like all over the damn place all the monsters in Iceborne seem to be a lot more hyper yeah, they're and aggressive more, very aggressive like Baryoth is pretty very aggressive mm -hmm. he's the one that I finally was like alright I'm just gonna kill you until I can make enough to get your armor and then I, I've been in his armor ever since just cause it's good against ice and in Iceborne a lot of those monsters are yeah ice based so who would have thought? But yeah. All right. So should we jump into recommendations, or do you guys got more to say? I think recommendations is probably good. Mm -hmm. so we're already at thirty-eight minutes. Wow, um, that's good. We didn't have anything before that. So yeah. Uh, yeah. So I would recommend this to uh, people who obviously like Monster Hunter. If you for some reason did not pick this up, but you're a fan, you should definitely pick it up. It's definitely the best. Um, and they've been supporting the fuck out of it, which is awesome. Capcom is just awesome again mm -hmm. and that's that's awesome um i would recommend it to people who like action games specifically cooperative action games even if you played lost planet 2 back in the day and you're like i really liked that whole run around fighting big things and uh cooperating with people play this if you haven't mm -hmm. um it's it's definitely that kind of game um but yeah even if you like third person action games it's it is that technically um if you like crafting the game is very heavy uh crafting centric uh, so you're doing a lot of that. It's kind of the point of the game. That's your progression. Um, so yeah, if you enjoy that, you like collecting stuff, um, definitely pick this up. Um, if you like games with a uh, challenge, you like conquering stuff. Monster is really good about that because you can go from fighting things that aren't too bad to things that are really fucking, uh, difficult. And once you beat it, it's, it's worth celebrating. So, uh, stop and think. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's got those moments where you fucking are fighting a dude and you don't know if you're going to win. And then you do and you're like, holy shit, I can't believe we did that. Um, or those moments where, you know, you, too many people died and finally you're in the middle of that fight and you're like, fuck, 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 fuck. And then somebody just dies and just ends. You're like, fuck. They went 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, and then you got to, you know, do it again. Um, but it's it's got that feeling of, of conquering um, something. So definitely pick it up uh, as well. Those, I was going to say, those click moments kind of make that game. Like, mm -hmm. like you know, you're like, I have no idea how to beat, you know, this, this fucking monster. And eventually you just, it's almost like a Dark Souls boss. You get kind of used to it. You understand their yeah. attacks. Realize with your weapon where you need to be and stuff like that. So It's definitely a hitbox game. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, if you're, in, yeah, the, the whole conquering aspect, if you're super into that, those click moments make that game worth it. Because mm -hmm. all of a sudden you're like, oh, okay. And then once you start just whooping ass you're like yeah kind of a weird one too goes into the cooperative thing but if you like games where you have to kind of prepare for things before you go into it Definitely. uh this this is a strategic mm -hmm. game uh it does you know on the surface look like a game where you're just running and swinging but you do have to think about what you're doing you have to think about your move set you got to think about what other people are doing and you have to prepare you typically i mean if i've done a fight a million times i don't really prepare for it but if you're doing like a really hard fight and you know it's weaknesses and things you got to bring you are coordinating with people that you're playing with and going like okay, i'm gonna bring this and bring that i mean even if you got to trap the monster you got to prepare for that mm -hmm. uh learn where it's going to go when to do it that kind of stuff so yeah you'll have an easier time there's a strategic element to the game and it and it definitely there is a huge incentive to prepare for the fights um, and know them. Um, you don't have to, but it's it's night and day. It's yeah. it's a big difference. Well, and even to counter that too, you can um, you can kind of fumble your way through the game by just using like a, a status effect weapon instead, mm -hmm. because they pretty much have at least minimal effectiveness on most things. So yeah. uh, so if you're feeling if you're also the type who doesn't want to think about it, it's still there for you as well. So mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, definitely uh, I think rewards people who want to spend the time to really prep for the fight so definitely uh i mean i could i could recommend some more things but i'll throw the ball to you guys the only thing i'm going to add to that because the one thing you said that i wanted to, to to really kind of throw it out at first was is it is a third person action game with with um essentially like a focus on positioning and hitboxes and stuff like that um 
you know, being able to take and break pieces off of the monsters is a good example of that. Mm. Um, but the big one for me is like, if you, if you're just looking for a game, you can just kind of sink your teeth into and just kind of get lost in this game will give you hundreds of hours oh, yeah. easily of gameplay. Um, it is definitely the bang for your buck game. So if you're on a, a tight budget and you want something you can just play for a long time, hundred percent that kind of game. So yeah, and you're and you're not going to be sitting there just grinding, doing the same thing over and over again for the hundreds of hours. There's a lot to do. There's in this a game. lot. To There's do. so many things, so many side fucking hunts that you're going to get. So many things to uh, work towards and, and and people to help. Even if you if you're done, like you just want to keep playing. There's always mm-hmm. someone doing something you can hop in and play with them. So yeah. You can help people, or if you need help, there's other people playing the game. I mean, like, it's, it's, there's, like you said, if you're somebody who, for whatever reasons, whether, you know, maybe you're a bit more frugal, or maybe you're more precise about the games you buy, or maybe you got a tight budget, uh, it is one of those games that you're going to get a lot of gameplay for the money you're putting into it, Mm -hmm. especially if you get it on sale, the original one. Um, Yeah, that's a full ass game. It's a huge, it's a huge game. Yeah. (laughs) And not in a tedious way. Yeah collectors mm. um if you're into collecting anything, dead collectors really whether it be weapons armor decorations for your room endemic life animals yeah, yeah your pets um like iceborne has penguins i just fucking i started trapping a shitload of those and they're just <laughs> waddling around my fucking room I sit on the couch and feed them you can fish you know and there's a whole mm-hmm. back end of that um there's like missions for that there's missions for exploring there's all sorts of shit so no matter what you're in, I mean the whole core game is hunting monsters. Don't get me wrong. It's Don't get in, it twisted. It's in the it's Don't in be the, switching asses. It's in the title, but um, it, there's a lot of extra shit that you can do that's not even killing monsters. Yeah. There's been a few times I just wandered and just resource got. Dude, know? I got I got fucking on this kick for a while when the game first came out, not Iceborne, but the original, um, where I was just running around with my net, fucking capturing fucking animals. As, as things that throw in my room, like that's what I was doing. It also gives you points, yeah, which yep. is you know a currency. So yeah, there's yeah. So not only are you collecting shit, but you, you do get that currency to use for any uh, send your tail riders out. There's a bunch of shit you can use. Those yeah, stuff you for. do in town. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah. Anything else? No, I you know most of you guys watching this, you're already playing it. Like you said, mm-hmm. said in the beginning of the episode. Um, and if for some chance you're not, this is definitely like a safe game to buy. Like I have a hard time believing unless you just don't like challenges at all, um, that people would have, I think most people would be able to at least find some enjoyment in this game. You might not do the, the post game stuff so much, but the story itself is a long process that you can get through. I do think there's people who are not gonna they're not gonna dislike the game but i think this game's not for everyone though because oh no, yeah I, d- uh, I don't think it's necessarily for everybody. if you're somebody who and i'm not saying this in a negative way but if you're more of like a casual gamer who likes to like play some stuff that's just fun to play but like you're not really there for like any kind of like methodical thinking mm-hmm. or fucking uh having to be strategic or whatever um or maybe i know a lot of people who don't like to play games with people um uh you know you, you might not be into this um so I mean, if you're that person I was talking about who just plays Sims, you, I mean, you, not to discourage anyone from playing this, but I don't think it's for everyone. I think everyone should try it, though, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. For, and that's kind of my, just most of my point. Yeah. It, it does offer a very solid gameplay experience, um, though understanding the weapons does take um, more than a, a basic thought process. There's a learning curve, yeah, yeah for sure. Some of the weapons are pretty straightforward. Some of them... I'm still figuring them out fully. Yeah. I've played the game for fucking a long time. Also, this game has a lot of life left in it. Not only did the Iceborne just come out, but they have like a roadmap throughout the next six months of monsters they're adding and stuff yeah. like that. They just had the... Iceborne came out and they were fucking already pumping updates out. I was like, mm-hmm. dude. Yeah, and then their next ones are going to be super end game monsters, Raging Bracadios, yeah. Furious Bracadios, and Raging Rajong. This game's not going anywhere anytime soon. So mm-hmm. people still play the 3DS ones. So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's, so don't be scared this game's two years old. It has life left. Yeah, yeah and if you if you are looking for a game that, that it's going to be supported for a while, this is definitely, I would say, one of the best examples of how to support a game mm-hmm. out there. Especially so. the games as service type games. So, yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, any other recommendations? 
Let's nope. grade the fucker. I'm gonna jump in first because my grade hasn't changed since the last episode. It's a, it's an easy A. I can't. I that won't change. Mm -hmm. The only way it's gonna go to A plus is if they add like a story that makes me super emotional. That's not gonna happen. Uh, it doesn't need to happen. Monster Hunter is just a fantastic, awesome game with plenty to offer. Awesome gameplay, uh, rewarding cooperative gameplay, and uh, it, it's just it's just a blast. It's always a blast to come back and play, and I can't wait for anything that they do in the future with the series, with this game, and uh, yeah, a easy a. I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna echo that. I don't even know what I voted or said last time, but like you know, obviously here and now in my experience this time, a. I mean, it's a it's just a completely solid package. Um, I have zero complaints. Any complaints I have are like self-made ones because like I, I'm frustrated at my own inability at times. So yeah, that's not the game's fault. So also echoing for the third time, a triple A. Um, this game is triple A as fuck. So and they're supporting it like they need to. Um, I have not a whole lot of complaints about this game and. The complaints I do have are, you're right, is my ineptness with figuring the shit out. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the game is fair with its challenge. Yeah, you don't so. get killed or fail and, and go, wow, the game fucked me. Yeah. Um, only one. No, not, not even once because I was just stunned. That was my fault. I didn't mm -hmm. have the decorations to fucking guard against it. Or my fucking cat didn't do his bullshit. Um, you should oh, never by the way, on if you <laughs> got Iceborne, you get a ticket to redo your cat and your character if you'd like. Hmm. Um, but anyway, it's solid. Uh, I, I, like I said, I don't really have a whole lot of complaints about this game. Um, my pros are massive cons minimal. So easy. A. Yeah, I believe. And Chris will, will give his grade when we talk to him next, but, uh, I think he gave like an A plus last time. So, um, yeah, yeah he loves it's, the game. it's, it's, mm. it's easily lovable. Uh, yeah. My, my scale is just different in the sense of like, if a game doesn't impact me on an emotional level, it's like almost sure. impossible to give it an A plus. So, but I don't think I've even done that at all yet. So yeah, you haven't. Final Fantasy Seven's coming out. We'll see. Um, let us know in the comments though. Uh, what do you think of Monster Hunter World plus mm -hmm. Iceborne? Since that was uh, the whole package that we talked about. Uh, what's your experience? What are you doing in the game right now? Uh, have you stopped playing it? Are you just coming back to it? Are you playing it for the first time recently? Uh, if you don't play it. Um, why don't you play it? Did you just not pick it up? Did you pick it up and it wasn't for you? Uh, let me know everything you're thinking about in the comments below when it comes to Monster Hunter World. But that's going to do it for this episode of Game of the Month. So always thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you enjoy this episode, make sure to check out our other episodes. Check us out on Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, a lot of things. Uh, links down below. Uh, Tasty Loot Gaming. Uh, we have a Discord link down below. You can talk to us anytime, all the time. We're on iTunes, Spotify, and other podcast platforms if you prefer to listen to us. There's something else I missed there. Oh, we stream. We all stream. Josh doesn't, but we do. Links down below as well. Um, check us out. And uh, yeah, my am Seth. I'm Chevy. And I'm Josh. Until the next episode, which will be Tasty Tuesday. Have a good weekend, guys, and take it easy.